That's what we want to do. Yes, we want to keep pushing forward. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We need to push forward right now. If we do not push forward right now, we're going to be stuck in a perpetual loop of crazy bottlenecking, and it's just going to be an awful experience. Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Warband and our native playthrough. Now, as you can see, we are outside Tyr, right here. And we are ready to uh, <laughs> give it to them. Yes, I was going to try and rhyme again, but no, I failed. I absolutely failed right there. Okay, so Charbeck Castle has obviously been taken back by the looks of things. Didn't we actually take that? Hmm. I thought we actually took that, but it's all right. Because we're going to focus on Tia in this episode, and we will try to prevail. Let's actually just take a quick look at the composition of the units inside here. And you can see, actually... They don't really have anything amazing, with the exception of 97 veterans and 110 warriors. So there, there, that's the thing that is actually going to be a bit of a thorn in our side for the foreseeable future. However, they only have about 9 huskars. So if we can bring the fight to them really, really fast then we may not even see those guys, you know? We might actually just have a very small sort of skirmish on our hands. Oh, wow, that was that was ouchy, wasn't it? Yes, that was a super ouchy right there. That was not very nice. Okay, so yeah, here's the thing. They have crossbows, apparently. They have crossbowmen that are actually pretty decent at what they do. I did not know that they had these, but apparently they do. So, I guess I'm going to have to be a little bit more cautious then in that regard. And uh, just try and... Oh, oh, that was close. That was very, very close. I do not want to die here. I do not want to die here. Because this is native. You know, there's no after-death camera or anything like that. So we do not want to die. This is really, really bad if I end up dying here. Okay, nice shield destruction. And we're done. Nice. Nice, easy fight. Although, I did take quite a lot of damage. 46 renown as a result of that. Now, that's pretty crazy. All right, I'm going to just wait here for some time because I want to make sure that we have enough HP to really, really take it to them in this siege. And uh, I actually thought that maybe I'd have a little bit more than that, but it's okay. It's all right. Let's just take our units, put, their, put the archers around here. Now, here's the thing. If we can get inside and, well, basically just, as I said, take it to them and try and eliminate as many of them as we can and get into their spawn area... We should be in a really, really good position because usually the main thing that you have to watch out for when going up against forces that usually have a huge amount of really, really good defense is watching out for those those various units that they, they stockpile. So, for example, these guys have a huge amount of veterans. So if we can eliminate these guys before us right here and then get a good foothold on the battlements we will be in a much, much better position than if we were to allow them to gain a foothold over these stairs right here. And if, the, if we do allow them to do that, then I think we will be in a uh, probably a bad position, but who knows, who knows? Maybe we'll be able to do something here. I'm going to get out my bow as well, and we're going to try and do a little bit of something, something here. going to try and headshot a couple of people, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that. And in the process, hopefully I can snipe that archer back there. Did you see did you see this archer? There we go, we took him out. And there's another archer there as well. Nice headshot. That's what we want to do. Yes, we want to keep pushing forward. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We need to push forward right now. If we do not push forward right now, we're going to be stuck in a perpetual loop of crazy bottlenecking. And it's just going to be an awful experience. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. And I'm going to shoot a couple of arrows through here to eliminate some of the archers. Yeah, there we go. Getting headshot after headshot. Good job, King Barney. Thank you very much for your work right here. He's actually doing very, very well. Nice. Okay, take out that veteran as well. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's getting better, getting better. Here's the thing. I'm not able to really help with the infantry at the moment, so the only thing I can do is just fire archers through this small little opening here. And, uh, well, well, that's it. Just just eliminate them. Just eliminate these archers from the game. And that's all I can do. Wow, we're actually losing uh, a whole bunch. This is not good. 
This is not very good at all. I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay, I'm going to try and bridge the little space here. Just kind of plug the hole, as it were. And we're going to try and eliminate a whole bunch in this area. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to push our units a little bit more forward than what we've been able to do so far. Can I, can I, can I get through? Yes, I can get through. But now I'm going to get fired upon by the many, many archers, which is very, very bad. But what else can I do? That's the thing. I'm, I'm much too low in HP to actually do anything meaningful here, which is really my fault. I mean, that was, that was really my fault. Took way too much damage in the sallying out of the enemy's forces. Gonna get shot in the back right now. Almost. Am I gonna get shot in the back? Yep, there we go. Well, not shot in the back, so to speak, but I actually think that was a pretty decent attack for the first go. And I didn't, that's the thing, I didn't want it to be the first go, if you know what I mean. We only had about another hundred or so to eliminate until we had victory. And we wouldn't have had to eliminate the entirety of the garrison. But now, now that's kind of gone a little bit out the window. So if you are indeed playing alongside me, or if you've played Warband in the past, or if you're playing it right now and you're not playing it alongside me, but you're in your own sort of area and you're doing your own thing, then I'd highly recommend trying to do something which I attempted to do but failed, obviously. But yeah, if you can do that, you're going to be in a really, really good position because you'll be able to eliminate and indeed take the town immediately without having to go in multiple times to multiple phases of attack. And that is a really, really good way of, you know, gaining territory and indeed winning sieges but unfortunately I just wasn't able to do that now I'm at a bit of a higher HP we might have a better shot here however just bear in mind that they now have all of their archers at the forefront of the area and I'm getting absolutely murdered by their focus which is amusing because I don't think they were actually focusing me before I got my bow out so maybe it was just me getting my bow out that made the difference but Anyway, I'm going to just try and eliminate a couple of others. You can see here that they're doing actually a lot of damage as well, even though they're just Nord Archers. You know, we know that Nord Archers are not the greatest. We know that they are pretty awful in basically every aspect of archery, but they still deal damage. They still deal considerable damage. If you allow them to do so, they're going to do a lot. So the key is just not allowing them to do so, I guess, which is basically the key in every single attack that we have attempted to make here. Just don't allow them to do anything. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Emir Voldrat. We eliminated him. Very nice indeed. Okay. So let's see if I can maybe do a little bit of something-something uh, here. See, now, here's the thing. We've already eliminated a whole bunch of their archers. So if we can get inside... Where's my forces? Oh, why are they all running over in that direction? That's kind of annoying, isn't it? Oh, well, never mind. Guess we just have to do it the old-fashioned way and hopefully not die... Yes. Okay, there we go. Uh, all of the emirs and all the vassals are actually showing... Th oh, Sultan Hakim himself? Very interesting. I actually thought that he'd been eliminated already, but apparently not. Okay, so this is a good opportunity for us. We have the ability, hopefully, to get up those stairs now. If we cannot get up those stairs now, I don't know whether it's going to happen. Going to have to put our archers around here or something like that. And... Uh if we can eliminate them right now and go up the stairs. Come on, guys. Get up there. Get up these stairs immediately. Come on. Let's let's get up there. Oh, this is... Yep. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, eliminate him. Okay. And now kill this guy. Kill this guy. I, I'm very, very low. So that's the reason why I'm being very, very cautious in my movements and making sure that I don't open myself up to too many arrows streaming towards me. That would not be very good. But maybe if I'm able to... Yes. Okay. Here we go. Now, this is exactly what I wanted to do in the first siege. If I was able to do this in the first siege, then I think we would have already won this. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to, so we're just going to have to deal with the consequences of my failure. Yes, and King Pan is just like, oh, yeah. He's just rolling his eyes at me as per usual. And hopefully, we're going to be able to succeed in our push towards the archers. Now bear in mind that we are going to get enemies spawning on us here. And they are most likely going to be warriors and veterans and, well, huge amounts of very, very good units. That was really bad of me. But it's okay, because, you know what? It's fine, because we are starting to get 
pushed back. And if we'd stayed there any further, we probably would have lost many more units. So let's actually just take a quick look. And we actually only have 193 enemies remaining. Now bear in mind that most of these, and indeed actually all of them, are Nord veterans, Nord warriors, and Nord huskars. And that's basically it. So I'm going to have to do something about that. And you can see here, I have 125 maximum in my army. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go away and I'm going to try and recruit as many good units as I can. And I'm just talking about running around here, maybe getting some Swadians, maybe getting some Kurgit Lancers in there, and maybe also, if I can, trying to recruit a couple of Nord units in the process too. And then we will come back here and we will say hi to Tyr and indeed we will try to take it again. Ah, what do we have here? Yes, it seems like we have a mere Voldrat who was attempting to leave Tyr as I was approaching. And so we are going to eliminate him on the fields of battle. And we are going to prove to him that we are the superior force and indeed the superior faction. And he must join us. Yes, he must join us. I actually don't really care whether he joins us, I just want him to be... Well, not with the not with the Saranids, to be honest. So yeah, if we can try and get that to happen, then I think we'll be in a really, really good position. And uh, basically just getting the vassals just to leave their respective factions and join us or join anyone else, basically, that we're not fighting. I think that would probably be the best idea. Basically, what what's happened right now, by the way, in my off-screen time, the Nords, they wanted peace with us. And I decided, hey, you know what? I'm focusing on the Saranids right now. I'm currently at war against the Rodox and the Vagias. Let's let's give one of our war fronts a little bit of a rest. So I accepted the peace agreement with the Nords, and I've now gained a whole bunch of right to rule and all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool. And uh, otherwise, we've obviously freed up a whole bunch of our vassals to concentrate on something else. Now you can see here that we also have Emir Galad who is off to the side there, but you can see what we've currently got. Hmm, yeah, pretty harsh, pretty harsh. I mean, obviously the 81 Nord warriors and the 90 Nord veterans are the main reason why this is actually difficult. If we were able to, you know, thin those out a little bit or hopefully not have as many of them present, then I think we would be in just, we would be in there. We would literally be the owners of this town already if those Nord veterans were not present. So let's see what I can do now, because I'm at full HP. We have a newly acquired force, newly leveled up, upgraded force of a bunch of Kurgit Lancers. I basically went to Kurgit territory because that's our, I think that's our largest territory with the exception of the Swadian territory. And basically just recruited a whole bunch of volunteers. They are also, coincidentally, the easiest to level up into high tier units. The Kurgit Lancers are, that is. And, well, I have a whole bunch of them. I've got about 40 of them. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I was able to recruit them very, very easily. And, uh, even if they do go down, it's not a big investment, you know, because personally, if I'm going to invest in something, I'd, I'd rather invest in Nord Huskarls or something along those lines, rather than, I don't know, Swadian Knights or something like that. Because Swadian Knights, even though they are absolutely fantastic at field battles, they're not exactly amazing at sieges. So if you do have the option to do a siege, Maybe, maybe you know, decide against taking Swadian Knights because they're not going to be the most fantastic at it. They are fantastic units in general, but Nord Huskals are tending to be a little better at sieges. So yeah. Anyway, that's the reasoning for my choice of Kurgit Lancer over Swadian Knight because they are just a lot quicker to level up, and in general they just are. They have a bit more ease of use as well because I think they actually do use one-handed weapons even though the knights do as well but they're a little bit slower as far as I'm aware their gear is more tended towards using it on a horse and having a lot of time to wind up your swing and you know all that sort of thing so the Kurgit Lancers are generally going to have scimitars as far as I'm aware and they're going to be pretty quick to use and in a close quarter situation like this 
that's going to be much, much better than having a large morning star or a large two-handed sword or something like that, unless you have a huge amount of space. Like, for example, this Swadian knight in front of me right here, he's getting bunches of kills. These Swadian knights are getting huge kills. I mean, I, I only have a couple of them, and they are proving themselves to be extremely useful, so I guess they're just proving me wrong. They're just like, well, Reformist doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, and then well, one of them dies. Oh, well, I guess that's not very good. I kind of did jinx them a little bit, I suppose, so maybe that's the reason. But anyway, you can see here that I think this is actually a really good place for us to be. I know I previously said, hey, the, this bottleneck's pretty awful. And in general, yeah, I think it probably would be. But we've got to think about the fact that we're not actually in view of the enemy's archers. So theoretically, we have the enemy's archers not doing anything. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good in the grand scheme of things, because if we have the enemy archers actually firing at us, then we just have an additional threat to worry about. But as it stands, not too much. Not too much to worry about. I think we can, uh, I think we can do pretty well here if our units could actually, you know, assist me and actually come up with me onto the battlements at the same time, because I was a bit worried there. I thought to myself, oh, I'm just charging by myself. That's not very good. Okay, so let's just see if I can do a little bit of extra damage here. Yeah, it's not really working out too well for me. Maybe I'm going to go around this side instead. That's maybe going to be a little bit easier for us. It appears we actually have... Wow. We've actually pushed pretty forward. Pretty, pretty deep into their territory right now. And I'm talking about territory in a very loose sense of the word, because obviously this is technically their entire territory that we're attacking right now. But still... A Swadian Knight! A Swadian Knight against a what? What was that? A Swadian Knight against a Huskar? And he won? That was pretty crazy. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how that worked. But I guess it worked somehow. Okay, my archers are still outside here. We are losing a whole bunch of units, but that is to be expected. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what I mean now. Having to deal with these guys is really, really frustrating because, the, I mean, the Nord Warriors are not too bad. The Nord Warriors are not too bad to deal with, but the Nord Veterans, on the other hand, they always tend to have chainmail armor. They always tend to have really good weapons. So it's it's kind of like a mini Huskar that you have to deal with. And obviously a mini Huskar is certainly not something you want to be dealing with in the almost hundreds. So, oh, it seems like we might have victory. There's only six left. And there it is. A wonderful victory. And I actually can't believe that we were able to do that. But you can see here that we actually lost a whole bunch of units. Actually, only 20 of them. Oh, wow. I actually thought that we lost a lot more than that, but there you go. 252 were eliminated. I can't believe that, actually, because there were still a huge amount of veterans remaining, and indeed warriors as well. So, I actually thought to myself we were gonna have to retreat and come back in, but apparently we survived just enough to get a good resolution. Wow. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'm impressed by our units. Very nice. Nicely done, fellows. Okay, come on, limit, eliminate him. Let's do this. There we go. And it seems like our Kurgit Lancers, as you can see, there's actually a couple of them up here, are doing a very good job in hunting down the enemy and eliminating them. Although Borcha and Kurgit Lancer apparently wanted to get themselves taken out now, which is not very... Are you serious, Rolf? Are you serious? Are you, are you, what? I was just singing your graces, and then he was like, ah, oh, no, I'm going to take a rest. I'm just going to pass out real quick. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, the town center is yours, and now we must go into the keep. This is actually, this is actually a potential for a loss here. We might actually lose... There we go. Okay, I've actually got to help pretty heavily here, even though it's not something I particularly like doing in these situations. I don't really like helping at this point because I think it's a lot more fun to allow your units to see who's going to win, you know, kind of thing. Wow, really? 
Two Kurgit Lancers were eliminated by one Nord Warrior. I'm very surprised. Okay, well, it's okay. We were able to achieve victory and we do get to take a bunch of them prisoner, including Sultan Hakim, which is great. So let's get the... Uh, wow, we're going to have the choice of basically everything here, which is really, really nice. Let's get a Swadian Sharpshooter and a Swadian Sergeant. I don't have that much space, so I guess I'm just going to get the good old standards. And we'll see where we go from there. Sharpshooter, Slave Crusher is really good, and... I guess we'll get some Vagier Archers? I mean, that doesn't really... It's not really that good, is it? <sighs> Yeah, I mean, there's not there's not much more for me to go for, so I guess I'll just get some spearmen. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right, and as stated before, I'm not taking any prisoners, not taking, well, any standard prisoners, not taking any loot because I have so much money. And I, as you can see, restocked on uh, food and all kinds of things like that. All right, so we're going to be giving this to Lord Akadan once again so we can continue to get his relation up. And I think he's at a pretty decent place now. So that's nice. There you go. We took tier. I'm I'm very surprised, as you can tell. Anyway, next time, we're probably going to try and attack the Vagiers, I guess, because they seem to be the closest to us at the moment, and we'll see how that goes. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.